Hello everyone, welcome to my backyard and garden tour. I'm sharing with you my produce and vegetable garden and my husband's aquaponics system that he has. It is our third year using this area as gardening and we are in South Dakota, so if you're in a different area, I'm not sure exactly if these will grow well for you, but these products that we grow here work really well where I am at. So I'm excited to share with you what I am currently growing. And if you like these type of videos, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube family, I'd love to have you join. But here is my little garden tour. All right, I'm gonna start with this back garden. It is quite weedy. It has been a very rainy spring and summer. Um, right here, I planted some flowers. Uh, didn't know they'd grow, but it was just a wildflower mix, so we'll see what comes up. My potatoes are doing awesome. Uh, they are a pretty hearty vegetable. Then right here, my little onions are coming up. Uh, they are very long already, so this is good. And then next to it, I have my peas and they really do need something to grow up. As you can tell, it's growing up my little flag that I have. So these are sugar snap peas. Then I have a couple cucumbers here. They're called the Calypso cucumber. And right here in this cage, I have, I think I, yeah, I put eight tomato plants in up here. And then in the back, I have some pepper plants. Now I can tell they're not getting enough sunlight because they're pretty little and they normally do better than that. And it's just been so wet. So um, there is that. Oh, and then I do have some flowers I planted here. I put some daisies, I believe, right here. So I'm hoping those come up. It'll be pretty just to have some flowers along the edges when they come up. Next year, I'll know to plant those sooner. All right, in our backyard as well is my husband's aquaponics system. And we have so much fun doing this. As you can tell, the tomato plants just took off. They're bigger than they are in my flower or my ground bed. Um, they just get much better nutrients with the fish fertilization. They're blossoming already. It's so exciting. So he has some tomatoes there. Where are they? Sweet 100. And then he put, oh my word, these bean plants are great. He put some beans in, some with seed. He put some onions in. I think this one's getting too wet, so it may not do so well. Oh man, but these onions are doing great. Um, and then right over here, right there, he put two corn kernels in. And they don't grow very well just because they get so tall that the rock bed can't support the corn. And then we have some broccoli, and this always does really well. And some cabbage. We have this extra space. We're going to put some peppers in. And they should do pretty well, which is good since they're not in my garden. And then maybe I'll throw some more onions in there. Anyways, we have, I'll show you the fishies that we have in there. Well, maybe. He made this netting because they've jumped out in the past years and have died. So he has fishies in there. In the back corner, they like to stay over there. Some bullhead and some other fish that were just um, from a lake. So we may eat those, we may not, but the fertilizer is of their PM who is what makes this grow so well. And he made all of this a couple years ago himself, so a handmade aquaponics system. All right, and I've shown you these before in just like a day in the life video. Just in this tub, I have a cabbage and then some kale, and it needs some picking, and then I did put a couple flowers in there. If you wanna see my flower garden and flower pot tour, let me know in the comments below, because I have quite a few flowers that I enjoy. Cucumber, this one did end up growing. Yay, I'm so excited about that. And then another cucumber over there and just some flowers. So that's my produce in that tub. And here is my second garden. I have corn that is doing quite well. Um, it's loving the rain. It just needs some heat, which we're supposed to get this week. These are volunteer pumpkins. I threw an old rotten pumpkin here last fall and it kind of just took off. So I am pulling some out because I don't want them to overtake my corn. Then I have some beans, a row of beans. They're doing all right. I need to probably replant a few open spots. And I tried hoeing the other day when it was wet. Didn't work so well. I have a little bit of zinnias here flowering. 
Then I planted some eggplant right here. I've never done eggplant before, so we'll see how that does. And then I have some carrots here, there, and then a whole row of carrots over there, and some more sugar snap peas a row. I need to get, like I said, something for it to grow up so they don't just flop on the ground. And then in the back here, I have some squashes. So uh, I think these are my green zucchini squash, some pumpkins, some butternut squashes, and then also some yellow squashes. And I normally let them like run up our fence that needs some weaning too. And this is our property over here too. So run over that as well, which is hard because we got to mow it. But the squashes, I try to give some room for them to grow. So that is my garden tour. It is very weedy, very wet. I have a new board and it's just hard to take time to come and hoe very regularly like I used to. But I love gardening and if it's a passion of yours, do it anyways. The plants will come through even if there's some weeds next to it. And next year I'm hoping to expand even a little bit more. I love getting produce. I love putting up our produce for the winter as well. So that is just such a joy when you can grow your own basically organic food that you have so anyways i hope you enjoyed it hope you have a blessed and wonderful day and if you have any questions about my gardening or um, garden questions at all leave them in the comments below i'm not a um, garden genius but i could answer some questions if you've got some all right hope you have a blessed and wonderful day bye